This is problem 8.03 from chapter 8 of the CFA Institute textbook, Corporate Finance, a Practical Approach. And in this problem, you're given a bunch of information and asked to calculate the net operating cycle. The net operating cycle is equal to days of inventory. That's how long stuff sits on the shelf on average. The average number of days between when we buy inventory and we sell it, plus days of receivables, that's how long after we sell it till we actually get paid. If you're selling stuff on credit, you take an IOU as opposed to cash, and then the days of receivables measures how many days it takes until you ultimately get paid. And since we, when we buy inventory, we typically buy it on credit, you subtract the amount of time it takes you to pay your supplier. So that's days of accounts payable. All right, so the formula for days of receivables, or I'm sorry, days of inventory, start with inventory, and then that's the numerator. The denominator is one day's cost of goods sold. So if you know how much stuff you sell per day and you look at all the stuff that has been sold, you get some general idea of how many days worth of stuff is on the shelf. All right, so our inventory, we have an ending balance of $2,000, one day's cost of goods sold, 30000 divided by 365. So the days of inventory is ending inventory divided by average days cost of goods sold. And that's about 24 days and change. The days of receivables, you take accounts receivable, which in this case is $3,000, and divide it by one day's sales. Okay, so if we sell $40,000 per year, then one day's sales would be one, one, one 365th of that. Notice that the inventory uses cost of goods sold in the denominator because when we buy and sell inventory, we measure that through cost of goods sold. And then we add, when we buy inventory, we add a markup to it. So we actually sell it for more than we paid for it. And when we sell it, the receivable then is going to be based on how much we sell it for, not what we bought it for. All right, so <coughs> days of receivables is simply ending accounts receivable divided by one day sales. All right, so that's 27, 27 days and change. And then we have days of payables is how many days it takes us on average to pay our suppliers. The accounts payable is 4,000 and the, the numerator, uh, the denominator for the days of payables is one day's purchases. Now most textbooks out there actually simply use cost of goods sold again for this. And the reason for that is that generally speaking, whatever you you started inventory with, you generally end up with about that much at the end of the year. But purchases is a little bit more accurate. So if we look at our basic accounting equation for how we got the inventory beginning balance to the ending balance, if I take the beginning inventory at the beginning of the year and then I add purchases to it, that's the new stuff I buy, and then I subtract the cost of the goods that I sold, that's what gives me ending inventory. All right, so we see here that we started with 1500 ended up with 2000 We purchased more stuff than we sold. All right, so I could rearrange terms here if I really want to know what purchases is, if I rearrange terms, purchases 
is equal to ending inventory minus beginning inventory plus cost of goods sold. Just using my algebra to rearrange terms. So my purchases for the year would be equal to ending inventory minus the beginning inventory, and that gets me the change in inventory, plus the cost of goods sold for the year. All right, so purchases in this instance, 30500 One day's purchases would be 30500 divided by 365, and then my days of payables is then simply the 4000 divided by how much I purchased per day. All right, and that's about 48 days. So my net operating cycle is equal to days of inventory plus days of receivables minus days of payables. And I get about 3.84 days. All right, and that tells me answer A is the closest answer and that's the result.